got a lovely sunrise over the yard. Looks like this is the perfect day for combining. There we go, and there's the combine. Yeah, you haven't misheard me. It's the 11th of October, and we have got some barley to cook. Before we go combine, I'm just going to do a little bit of spraying while it dries. It's after spud, so I'm just going to hope that we don't make too much mess traveling. So we've arrived at the field to spray this, and I think we've had more rain in hail than we have anywhere else. It's, I mean, it's very wet in the gateway, and it's like I'm sinking in. I'm just hoping when I get away from the gateway, it's a lot drier. But the annoying thing is, is I've filled the sprayer up, so I've kind of got to get it empty. But, ah. Uh, Definitely a soft spot there, but here, that's all right. Don't know what it's like. This is where the old tram line was in the spuds. To be honest, this feels pretty hard. I think it's just going to be the odd bit where I'm going to make a mess, mainly the gateway. Uh, but I mean, what's that? One percent? Not even one percent of the field. I just hope there's no soft pockets in the middle. I'm going to have to walk over it now and see, but. I really need to get that spray out now, it's mixed and ready to go. I came in the field, all good, all good, all good. Oops, but I'm on the dry again, hopefully now. Well, that wasn't ideal. Uh, there's a few soft spots. It's, but I had to get the pre-emergence on because this field has a history of ryegrass. And also I was putting glyphosate on Roundup to kill the what grass weeds are already growing. But yeah, it's, uh, it's cutting in a few places, but I've got the field done. I've just got another one to do now to get the tank empty because I've still got a thousand litres left in the tank, which really I need to get rid of. But yeah, it's cutting a bit there, just going up a hill as well. It's a bit of a shame. If only the whole field was like this bit here. But probably 20% of it is cutting and uh, Headland was the worst bit to be honest. Luckily with the sprayer being 36 metres, at least I've only damaged every 36 metres and we weren't growing a crop in them bits anyway, so. Rob's been to Morris Caulfields this morning to pick a header up. It's uh, a bit smaller than the other one. It's only 18 foot. Rob's got a grain trailer on the fast track. It had water in the bottom, so he's brushed it out. He's just letting it dry out now ready for the summer barley and the dryer is ready to take it in the intake pit. What do you reckon we take the header with the Zerion just so that we've got the tractor bigger than the combine for a laugh? Yeah, so uh, I think we've got a slight issue here. There it is, the beast. <laughs> How funny is that? Tracks is longer than the other. It had to be done though, didn't it? It's like a little plot combine now. They normally the same width as the header. I think when I left school, we had an 18 foot header on the combine. Which to be fair was 25 years ago now. So this should be interesting because the, the head is quite rusty. Hopefully the knife's sharp because it's got still a little bit screen, but especially when we went on spreading muck. Uh, it's actually got some secondary growth as well, which to be honest might have been the winter barley coming up. But we'll see how long it takes. Right, so the header fits on. Now I've just got to go in the screen and tell it that it's a different header. This is quite interesting, so it was set for 12.3, but you can actually set it to like 50 meters, 63 meters. Yeah, well, 5.4. There we go. Right, let's try that now. I don't think there's a setting for summer barley, so we'll just set it for spring barley. Press play on that and set it up. It's a little bit flat under the trees and eaten by presumably the pheasants. Still going along the river now. Just flashed up 1.2, 1.3 tonnes to the acre. I think it'll do better when I get into the middle. 
we'll see anyway. Pull in the tank. Good sign. 1.77, 1.69 tons an acre. Too bad. I've been around the field nearly twice now and it's still not equivalent to one pass for the other header. Got the GPS working now, I'm about to change all the settings. It's coming along here, it's doing 1.58 here. 1.45, not too bad. Uh, we've just emptied the tank as well. Wasn't quite full, but I think we're in profit already and we've still got all that left to cut. So we've got the GPS on now. We're going through the middle of the field. It's yielding 1.2 tonnes-ish here. It's actually doing better over there, I think. Um, I, think it, I think the actual dry weather has made a difference. I think there's bits of the field that have struggled from the drought and then there's obviously bits of the field that have got a bit more moisture and it's grown a little bit better. I mean, 1.3 tonnes are up to now. Andrew's come to see what's going on. He's been digging spuds. You've been stuck? Twice. Has everyone been stuck? Yeah. <laughs> We've got a video of it actually, I'll show you. Pointed out this is the first field we cut and it's the last, unless I cut the sunflowers. We'll just have to see what the weather's like in a couple of weeks for that. I'm not sure if um, it's going to be full after this time, but it's getting there. Another bit to go. Done the bits by the trees before it goes damp and dark. Got that little corner over there to do, just getting through it now. It's now nearly six o'clock. I think I've been in here three hours. Yeah, I've got that much left to do. I think it's took me longer to cut this field with this header than it took me to cut it the first time this season. Despite having a breakdown, waiting for a pipe to be delivered and coolant to be put in and changing the pipe. Um, but I must just say thank you very much for Morris Caulfields for lending me the header because we would have lost this crop, I reckon. I think it's going to rain tomorrow and then we've got another dry day and it's going to rain for the next few weeks and it's just been battered to the floor. Um, we might have been able to cut it a couple of days ago if we'd have had the other header. But I'm really pleased. I mean, we've put another tank full in that trailer. The tank's now filling up again now, if you can see. Um, I'm not just too sure on the yield. I don't know how much the last trailer weighed, but we'll have a look at that in a bit. I'm waiting for someone to say in the comments at least I can manage this header without hitting something I know someone's going to say it but instead say how are you feeling today so I am 80% today a lot better than yesterday because things have been going a lot better obviously this is slow we have had our task order today which did take up some of my time and meant that I haven't got all my spray and none of them wanted to do and I did regret going spraying first thing but it had to be done but yeah how are you feeling today? Let me know as a percentage in the comments. Well, let's everyone try and also click like if you've been watching the video this far as well. Feel finished now. Just got to empty uh, sort of two trailer loads. Uh, the first one we weighed 12 ton. The second one's probably going to be something similar. So that would be around 24 ton at whatever the moisture is off. I think it's 23 acres. So it'll dry down a little bit, but uh, it was definitely worth doing it. If you think it cost me 900 pounds to grow it, obviously there's a bit of a cost to harvest in it. Uh, the drying costs are negligible because we can dry it with the biomass and we've got the electric off the solar. So if you take all that out, we've probably got like 
five grams worth of barley. Profit in it. There we go. Someone on TikTok said there's no profit in it in this year. But clearly got that wrong. Or they've got a very expensive way of growing barley. It's not been that long. We've got lights on now. It's going dark. Anyway, there's the other load going back. That barley there looking brilliant at the side. I get HQ now, Rob just tipped. I'm gonna go and see what weight we've got off the field. 23.18 and the first trail load was 25% moisture. I think the second one was a lot less. Um, so we'll see what that dries down to. So it's a 23 acre field, so exactly a ton to the acre, but obviously that's wet weight. Or if you, if you want, you can say two and a half tons to the hectare because that sounds more. So at current prices, that is just over 5,000 pound, 5,100 pound. I think it costs me about 900 pound to grow it. That's a decent profit, isn't it really? For nothing, well, not for nothing, 900 pound investment, 4,000 pound profit, happy days. Got an in the dark birthday bumper. So we've got Jamie Goddard, Isaac Barton, Angela Bocock from The Real Country File. Don't forget to check out this week's episode. Elliot McQueen, is it McQueen? I can't really pronounce it. Doris Hunt, Brenda Blackwell, Karen Hackworth, and Adam Barker. Happy birthday, everyone on there, anyone else's birthday. It's also £13,051. And Dad just coughs through the middle of it. So, yeah, happy birthday, everyone on there. So, that's worked out. Sowing it a month earlier has meant we've harvested it over two months earlier. Sorry. So, yeah, sowing it a month earlier has meant we've harvested it over two months earlier which is just amazing. And then also we probably, if there's about 4,000 quid in it, if you take out the combining costs over 3,000 quid, whichever, but the combine acreage is paid, the combine is paid for on the other acreage as well. Um, but that's enough for a family holiday, isn't it really? If I had time to go on one. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, quickly before we go, what is that? If you think you know, leave a comment below. And if you're not bought a hoodie yet, be quick. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.